Emosh Bride Michelle Sorrells and Dowd Abbas want to know, have I ever regretted starting my dreadlocks? Have I ever thought about cutting them off? No regrets, bro. Peace out. Okay, in all seriousness, I'd be lying if I said that I'd never had like a day where I was like, is this really a good idea? Let's be honest, they're not the most practical things. They might appear to be practical to some people, but they're not. They're gonna inhibit you in some ways, whether you're conscious of it or not. I mean, there's gonna be certain situations where having dreadlocks is gonna make you think, maybe I won't do that. So, I mean, I've been in situations where it's like, well, I could maybe do that, but my hair would get wet and then I wouldn't be able to dry it, or, I could do that, but something's not gonna fit, or blah, blah, blah. So there are gonna be certain situations where dreadlocks are gonna make you question, like, the, the best thing for me. And so there have been times where I've been in that situation, or where I've been particularly annoyed, where it's like, it would be so much easier if I didn't have them. But it's like a short-term thing. So in the short term, I've been annoyed. I mean, like, yeah, maybe things would be easier. But when I'm able to take a step back and be, able to take in the bigger picture, sort of the long term, then no, dreadlocks have been good for me. I've always said that dreadlocks aren't all sunshine and rainbows, because they're not. Don't get into dreadlocks thinking that they're gonna be like great all the time. But like, in the grand scheme of things, I'm really happy with the influence that dreadlocks have had on my life. I've said that I will keep my dreadlocks as long as they bring me more positivity than negativity. And, you know, they really do bring me a whole lot more positive experiences than negative. I wouldn't be where I am today without them. Like, seriously, you would not believe the pivotal moments in my life that have been affected by my hair. And I'm quite happy with where I've ended up. I mean, it might have been a bit of a weird route that I've taken to get here, but pretty happy with where I am now. So, no, uh, I don't really regret having dreadlocks at all. Very happy with the, the results uh, where I'm at right now. I can't say that I'll keep them forever and never cut them, because, I mean, I don't know what the future holds. I don't know. Situations may change. I may start to experience more negative results as to having dreadlocks versus positive, but, I mean, right now, happy all the time? No, but who is? Serious regrets? No. We're doing good. Hope this Q&A was helpful to some of you, and at least to the people that originally asked the question. Uh, like and subscribe if that's your thing. You can leave me a comment with a question if you'd like me to potentially answer one of your questions in the future. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you again next time. Farewell. Like, if we were going total practicality, clearly shaven head is the way to go. Like, you can wash your hair with a flannel. Just, I assume that's the noise that it makes too.